guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm talking all about my conch piercing um, so it's basically on this ear I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see it I'll quickly zoom you in I'm gonna basically try and answer as many questions that I've had about the piercing in this video and um, just to try and make it as general as possible and then be quite specific on specific things and um, but if there are any questions that you find that I don't answer throughout the video please do let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer the question and I'll let you guys know my experience with that particular thing so um, the first thing I'm gonna just mention is the fact that I got it done like I said a month ago um, I paid £25 to have mine done, um, I feel like it varies no matter where you are uh, in the UK or around the world, um, but mine was £25, it's exactly the same price as my rook piercing, which I did a whole video about my rook piercing as well, um, so I'll leave that above and in the description bar below if you guys want to catch up on that one, or if you're deciding between the two piercings, it's always good to hear someone's experience about the two, um, so yeah, we got well, I got my conch pierced a, a month ago and I got it done with my sister. Um, she got her rook done um, and then she got her conch done before. So we kind of like swapped and then got the same piercing as each other. Right now, like a month after, I feel like it's completely healed. I still clean it and I'm gonna continue to do that for the first three months, but I honestly feel like it's completely healed. Um, I can kind of like touch it like obviously you don't excessively touch it because it's a piercing um but like it doesn't hurt around it like i can bend my ear and stuff and it's absolutely fine when i first got it done my ear was so tender like even just to kind of like touch around it kind of hurt and i didn't expect that because i didn't have that experience with my rook piercing um but with my conch it was much more delicate and i found that my whole ear was a lot more sensitive to any kind of touch, um, especially with my hair, like my hair catching the back of the piercing, I always found was a bit problematic. And that was probably like the biggest peeve of the piercing for me, it was just those like initial first few weeks when like it's it hurts um, and anything that kind of touches around that area makes it really sensitive. Um, but after that it was absolutely fine and I feel like I literally woke up one morning and it stopped hurting and my whole ear was fine so it may have been the fact that I move around in the night quite often so I may have actually have like leant against it or anything like that and that always obviously agitates it a little bit so um but mine now feels completely healed um I don't get any kind of like crusty bits around it um, when I clean it there's no blood there's nothing to actually clean away I just feel like I'm cleaning it to me to make it sanitary um but that's about it i'm kind of just going through the motions at the moment but i feel like in terms of it as an actual piercing um it's all healed and it's absolutely fine like i've had no problems with it at at all in terms of the pain of the piercing and this is probably what everyone's biggest question is um i felt like when it actually got pierced i don't know whether it was because in i had the mindset of like not really realizing what was happening like i knew i was getting something pierced but in my head like i forgot if you know what i mean um so when i got it pierced it almost like shocked me a little bit because like obviously it hurts because you're getting a needle put through your ear um but as soon as that was done it it was kind of over and it didn't hurt that bad uh, i would probably say on a scale from zero to ten um, it probably hurt like initially probably like a six um, and then after that it like very quickly went down to about three uh, me and my sister got the piercings on what was a f bloody freezing cold day and the wind was terrible so we live like by the sea and that never helps anything because the wind is so strong and so that probably didn't help and we probably didn't help ourselves uh, but that obviously hit the piercing and did make it hurt a little bit um, but as soon as I got home into the warmth and then cleaned it, it was absolutely fine. In terms of like after the first two weeks, absolutely fine. At the moment, it doesn't hurt whatsoever. And I can't believe I've only had it done a month. Like it feels like it's been forever. Um, my rook piercing took a little bit longer to actually heal. So in terms of like if you're considering getting the two and the conch piercing was much like more... It was much easier to kind of maintain and it's obviously healed a lot quickly. The root piercing is in a more like obscure place and uh, it's just a bit 
diff more difficult to clean and things but the conch is very very easy it's kind of in the middle of your ear so you can very easily go around um, and then the back of the ear is slightly different because obviously you can't see it but getting like a cotton wool pad with um, salt water just go around and clean it it's absolutely fine so yeah obviously in terms of cleaning it um, all I would do is use um, like hot water I would actually boil it in a kettle and pour it in let it cool down a little bit because I don't want anyone to like burn themselves put just under a teaspoon of salt and I would actually fill the glass quite high just because I knew that that was a ratio that worked for me um, I would mix it in and then I would clean that and then I would also clean my root piercing just because I had like a solution near me but uh, yeah I kind of just did that I didn't need to buy anything that was too expensive the piercer that we have we've had so many piercings with him and he knows that you know we don't need things like that like he's very open to say like just kind of use salt water and um, clean it regularly and it's absolutely fine you don't need to spend a lot of money on expensive uh, like sterilization and uh, mixes or anything like that because it's a waste of money in terms of what I got it actually pierced with um, our piercer didn't give us the option of actually having a ring in the first instance just because having a stud is much easier to clean and with a ring it can kind of be pulled and tugged a lot easier whereas at least with a stud it's kind of like it's there and it's not going to move and um, so this is a titanium silver stud I'll probably keep this one in for however long I'm kind of thinking now I might get a ring um, but it will have to be a large ring because I've got it actually quite in my ear if that makes sense and um, because you could get it at any point in the inner bit of your ear um, so mine is actually quite towards the centre so if I then changed it to a ring um, I will have to get one that's quite large so obviously if you do want a ring in your piercing do let the piercer know at the time because then it would uh, determine how far away or how into the ear he actually does it um, but I'm thinking I might just get like a really like delicate thin silver ring to actually put through it uh, but for the moment I'm gonna just keep the titanium stud in probably for the first three to five months um, I like just to keep the piercing that they actually pierced it with um, in my ear just because I feel like that's the most sanitary way to actually just keep it from like getting little uh, bumps around piercings because if you take it out too prematurely you can get those like little bumps that just don't go away so it's always worth considering that um, I've just kept this in and probably will do for like I said probably the first five months and then I'll look into changing it I guess another thing to add is just the reason why I got it done um, I really like unusual ear piercings um, I have a lot of piercings on this side of my ear so on this ear I have two low piercings my tragus and my rook I did used to have my scaffolding done but I have since taken that out because I decided that I didn't like it anymore um, but on this ear it's quite a bare ear and um, so all I've got is my two low piercings and also the uh, conch piercing I do want to get maybe some like upper lobe things oh, I'm not too sure I kind of want to decorate this ear a little bit more um, but this piercing is one that I've kind of seen on Instagram a little bit I know that that's really really bad um, but I've seen it kind of floating around and I love like fashionable ear piercings that are slightly different um, I know that there's kind of like you can get your date pierce and all things like that so I'm really looking as to what to get next uh, but that's kind of the reason why I got it I just thought it was really cute and the good thing with piercings and this is what I always say why I get more piercings than I do like I don't have any tattoos because I'm so scared that one day I'll wake up and won't like it anymore whereas at least with piercings I can get a piercing done and then if I don't like it anymore I can just take it out and it will close up um, so that's kind of why I got it. I just thought it was something slightly different. Um, but I like I have a few piercings now. Like I have my tongue, my nose, um, my tragus, my rook, and then my low piercings as well. And I obviously have my scaffolding. And I'm kind of not really afraid of the piercing pain because it's one of those things that as soon as it's done, like it's done then and you've got it. And then from that point onwards, it only gets better. So I don't feel like my pain tolerance is that like no, I feel like I, I can handle pain all right. Um, but it was still quite painful, this piercing, but I wouldn't let any kind of stories of pain or anything like that put you off because it wasn't that bad, it really wasn't. All you need to do is like grit your teeth and in that moment like let them do it and as soon as that's done, it's done. And they'll usually kind of put something in and then 
kind of then thread it through and put the ball on but even when they were putting the ball on like that wasn't painful with my rook it was because it was on in a bit of an awkward position so they had to kind of like when they were twisting the ball on they were kind of agitating the bar but with this it was so so simple like if you if you really really want to get it done but you're like oh i'm only not getting it done because of the pain or or maybe it takes too long to heal as long as you can kind of in that moment just think oh and then it's done and then give it at least two weeks and then literally mine is absolutely fine now and it's only been a month so and um, i hope this video has helped anyone thinking of getting it done and um, like i said if you have any additional questions please do let me know because i'm more than happy to answer them um and yeah i don't feel like there's anything else to really add at the moment if i think of anything else i'll add it in the description box but otherwise like i said mention any questions that you might have or any kind of things you're a bit worried about do let me know and I'm sure that I'll put your mind at ease in no time so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and it helped you out and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys